Hi, Bob Coates here from Successful-Photographer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the um, the Lark Max. It's a dual uh, microphone system that's also a transceiver and recorders and all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, a little unboxing here just to start with, then we'll run these uh, guys all through a whole bunch of different tests. Okay, so um, Hollyland sent me um, a set of lavalier microphones. So these things can can run either. I know I can open this up. Um, they can run either <clears throat> straight off of the trans transceiver unit or they can also have a a lavalier mic um, hooked up. And when I look in here, um, everything's packed up all nice and good. And let's see, you know, nice standard regular lavalier mic. We'll check out the quality of them and how, how um, comfortable they are um, and how, how good the sound is versus um, just the uh, unit itself. Um, they also come with their own little windscreens and there's two of them packed in this box here. So the units themselves, this is the Lark Max. And in the Lark Max, um, I'm always interested in checking the, the packaging. And this packaging feels really good. Feels, I don't, it's almost like they took lessons from Apple. It's very tight, it's very clean, it's all packed nice and good. So when we open it up, our first little peek is a setup here. We are here for you, Hollyland. And they've got a little uh, get in touch. And let's see what else is in there. It's a guide for after sales service. So that's always nice to have on hand. We'll set this aside. And then we've got a um, little manual. Manuals always come in handy. Um, I guess they also go online. So when we open it up, this guy is inside of a very very soft, um, tight, um, padded area. So for shipping and, for, and actually even for storage, um, nice solid thing. I would almost keep this, but I don't think I'm gonna need to because this all by itself is pretty good. I'm looking, we got, uh, it's nice and tight. It's, got, it's uh, holding everything. Um, I find it really hard to crush, so we can open it up to start with. Again, very nicely done. When we open it up, here's our units. And again, they're inside of another box. This is your charging unit. And if you open up the charging unit, within there you see we're already charged. I have not charged this yet, but we've already are showing um, we have some charge links going on there. And so as we unpack it, this is the unit that will sit on the camera. And if you notice, it's got a little, uh, a little hot shoe neighborhood there. We've got a way to set the menu. We'll look at that in just a little bit. But um, this would not be extra heavy weight or anything to have on the camera as your receiver. Then we have your transceiver here. And that's, again, uh, well-branded, looking good. Um, it's set up, so it already has a built-in unit, so you could take it and just work with this to start with. And that doesn't look too bad. It's you know, it's nice and black. It's uh, gently branded, um, or it could be hidden. We'll see how that works, because we're going to play with how this sounds all by itself. And of course, you have two of those. So this is also your charging station. And then last but not least, let's go back inside the little carrying case here. It's got a little flip down thing. Again, everything's packed really nice and tight and smooth. And if we go ahead and pull this zipper, we have all kinds of cords in your, we have your charging cord and different connecting cords so that you could connect right to the phone if you wanted to record into there or to cameras. Um, we'll take a look and see what the sound looks like after that. Well, let's go look and see what else we got in here. We got, let's just check it out. Let's lay it all out here. So we have our charging station. Let's see if we get everybody out of here. We have our carrying case box. 
This is a uh, windscreen, windscreen, set you guys over here, make y'all pretty for the camera up above. And then cord wise, we can go, that's the charging cord. And then after the charging cord, we have a cord going to camera. And then we also have the cord going to um, an iPhone, depending upon the model you have. You may need, um, you may need a uh, converter for this, depending upon what your receptacle is on your iPhone. This looks like it will fit the one that I've got. Okay, so let's take a little closer look at what's inside um, all this gear. Cause as I was uh, experimenting with it and playing with it, I was like, oh look, this guy is actually a little charging box. So if you open this up, you can see the lights pop on. That means that um, everything is charged up. And then if you look in here, everything is charged up as well. So when you pull out your uh, transmitter, You've got your uh, transmitter set here, and it's really built strong. I mean, it's very nice. I like the fact that it has a matte finish. Uh, not quite so thrilled that Hollyland is out there. I think it might have been a little better served if maybe they stuck it on the side or something, because they also have it you know, on the back clip. It's branded pretty well. But, um, or maybe if they just did that as an indent and didn't fill it with white paint, maybe that would be just that, you know, a little bit slicker because um, one of the ways to use this unit is to use it all by itself. There's a microphone in the transmitter right here, and then you would just clip it on right in your space and you're there. So you have that little bit of branding. Hmm, that's such a big deal, it could probably be taken care of. Um, the other thing that I found, um, num this is a very, very strong uh, metal clip and just it just feels really um, solid when you work with it. This little disc right here, this is a solid little bit of uh, magnetic and there you go and you're you can put this anywhere you want because sometimes when you get into this neighborhood here things get a little scratchy or get bumped around out here you would be all by yourself. So good stuff there. Put that guy back away. So while it's sitting in this case, this is being charged, um, which can be great, especially if you're working with one microphone all by itself or you're out on location and you're working with your two microphones, you're gonna take a break. While you're taking a break, throw your transmitters back in there along with your receiver and then you can use it. The receiver is pretty, again, pretty slick, very well. It's, you know, I don't mind that there's a good solid brand on there. Um, it has a little touch screen right here. It has a dial, so we can put the safety track or we can, you know, choose how we want this to, uh, to work. And you can see as we kind of step through, we've got your different settings to play with and uh, we'll deal with some of that um, a little bit later when we start actually recording with this unit. Um, the other thing is, oh, the other thing is this, um, this already has a really strong windscreen built into it. The microphone is kind of recessed into here. I think the design of this is really, really nice. But if you get out there and it's really windy and blowing, boy, you can just stick on the dead cat and you have a little dead cat that can also be there and um, help you with uh, wind noise and stuff. Um, we're also going to take a look at there is a um, noise reduction filter on here. So we're going to take this out by the road and see how um, these different uh, accoutrements work. And then last but not least, you can always um, have this set aside and you can plug in your uh, lavalier mic, uh, which uh, with, the, with this lavalier mic, it comes with a foam top, or you can pop off the foam top and it also has a um, dead cat that you could stick on there as well. Um, you've got your units to attach to the camera, and then you also have a cord that will go from USB-A to USB-C, which will fit my phone. Um, if you need a, you know, you sometimes if you don't, if you have an older phone or you have a different connection, um, you could get a little um, 
little unit in there to make a transformation between the two. But overall, I think this thing is really nice. Again, this is just, you know, nice and solid. And then this um, box that goes in here and the way this packs away, it just is really tight and clean. So I would have no problem throwing away this beautiful box, <laughs> which I kind of like anyway. Um, but uh, I'm seeing this as being a really good thing. I can't wait to see how everything sounds in all the different configurations. Okay, so now it's time to test out the Lark Max uh, microphone and transmitter. We've got the transmitter mounted on the camera. It has a really solid uh, friction fit to sit into the hot shoe. So, and I, it's very nice. It's snug, but not too snug. I would never have a worry about it um, slipping out of the hot shoe. So that's a, you know, solid build. Sometimes with some of these units, when you do a little, it gets a little hinky. No hink there. All right, so I'm working with just the transmitter, and the transmitter is the microphone built in there, and we're all set up and ready to go. Um, so that's what you're hearing coming through here. Um, let's do, let's throw a dead cat on there just for fun. Let's see what happens with the dead cat. So the dead cat is on there as well. Um, that's just a slightly different sound, I'm sure. Um, usually the dead cats are only just to keep the wind from blowing across your microphone. Um, from what I understand, the design of this microphone, the microphone is recessed into the unit and um, it should be pretty wind resistant to begin with. Um, let's try out the uh, little magne magnet there. Slip the magnet in there. And this is through a, a fleece, so the magnet is very nice and strong. And now we've got a, a different place for our microphone and possibly um, a little bit of different sound because now we can move it anywhere we want um, in our system. So the next test would be to um, wander off and let's uh, do a little, let's see what's going on. These are, these are line of sight, um, but let's go see what happens if we uh, try and use it throughout different places. So passing through the office here. It's my little stand-up desk there. It's pretty cool. And we're in the office, so we're on the other side of the wall, but with an open door. And now we've got, uh, we're going through the door and back in here to the next room. Oh, didn't close the door. Let's close that door and see if that makes a difference. Checking the sound, checking the sound. Stepping through another door. And through another room and through another set of walls. Let's really take it out here. I'm gonna go all the way out to the porch and we've got a stucco wall and cabinets and stuff that are in between us. Let's see how well the microphone holds up with it. Okay, so here I am back in the studio. Let's just test one more thing. We'll undo this and we will add another feature, which is the, la the lavalier mic. Take the lavalier mic and just set it up. So this is what it sounds like with the lavalier mic. And it's got um, just the foam, you know, the standard right there. I'm not gonna hide all this stuff. I would normally hide all that. And let's go uh, check in the studio and record, uh, download all this stuff and see how it worked. Okay, now it's time to test the microphone. Um, I've just got it attached with the uh, magnet through this heavy fleece so that you can see that that magnet works pretty well. I'm gonna test the distance and I'm gonna go all the way around the block just to see what happens. So we'll just uh, take this little bad boy for a walk and off we go. So I'm heading off in this direction. Now, um, it does say that this is line of sight um, and the microphone is on the front of my body. So my body is between the camera back there and the, or the receiver back there and the, tra the transmitters right here on my chest. So let's see what happens as I go all the way on the block. We're pretty far away now, I'm down a couple of houses down, moving up to another house, getting ready to go up and around the pier. Let's see how this goes. 
Off we go. I should hustle, huh? <laughs> okay, so we're now at the corner of Pebble Drive. We're getting ready to turn the corner. So one thing that I am doing is because this is set up to record as a secondary um, recorder. So I'm re so as this unit is set up to record everything that's being transmitted, if we lose the signal, I should be able to take this, match it back up, and use that to fill in the neighborhood there. We've got some uh, plane noise going by. Curious to see how that'll be picked up and how well the noise reduction will work. And I am all the way around getting ready to head to the next corner. Do, do, do. That'll just be the, got a truck coming up here very shortly. And again, curious how this microphone will work with the voice and uh, deal with the ambient noise that's uh, rolling all around. It's a helicopter over there, it's a plane back there, a truck just passed, and we are way far away now. Well, I've got to tell you, I'm really impressed with this system. The Lark Max really works well. It's built strong, it feels good. Um, the noise cancellation seems to work really well. Um, I, you know, heard very little of the airplanes and helicopters that were flying around when I was doing my um, outdoor testing. And uh, last but not least, it's built like a brick, you know, it's really strong, feels like it'll be around for a really long time, and I can't get over the sound that's coming just straight from this microphone here. Um, at 249 bucks, which you can get it for at Amazon right now, I believe, um, it's uh, 269 normally. Uh, I find this to be a great value and I highly recommend the Lark Max uh, two microphone transmitter system. And it's wireless. Have a great day.